Okay, so first off, Happy New Year! Right, 2013. So I thought for my first video I would do 13 New Year's resolutions, because it's 2013, so 13. It's an unlucky year, actually. Number one, make YouTube videos, because I've been meaning to do them for absolutely ages. And I just never got around to it. <laughs> Apart from I did, I did like two a year and a bit ago, I think it was. Yeah, like a year ago. But that was on like a completely different channel and I've decided I don't like them, but at present, if you can find it, I doubt you can. Second one is to read more because I absolutely love reading, but like since I've been at uni, this is the book I took to uni. Well, one of many books. This is the book I was reading. And during the three months I was at uni, I read about that much, which is pathetic in three months. I can usually read like seven books in three months, at least. I got these for Christmas, so Fought in Our Stars by John Green, most of you probably know that. Hooks Being a Wallflower, I watched the movie a couple of days ago, it was amazing, so I'm definitely going to read that. And then I'm number four, equally again, because I saw the movie and I thought that would be a good, good, good book, and then it turns out it is a book. So I also got this for Christmas, but I've already read this one, and this is so cool. She's an assassin and she's like, she's really badass and there's, it's set in like, medieval times I guess. It's like it's a completely made up place and it's really cool. Hang on, there with. It's got a map at the front. But it's all like long dresses and she has to fight a load of other people to be the king's champion so she doesn't have to go back to the uh, salt mines of Endovia where she'll probably die. So it's kind of like fighting to survive. It's really cool. So third resolution is watch less TV because I love TV and but I spend so much time watching TV shows and it's kind of like I really love it and I really enjoy it but part of part of me feels like it's a bit of a waste of my time like one of my friends was just texting me she's watched uh, the whole of the whole of series of How I Met Your Mother which amounts to 30 you know which amounted to 50 hours <laughs> so you know that's a lot of time so I mean I'll still keep up watching all the ones that I absolutely love like I started watching The Hour oh my god it is so good but the ending killed me, <laughs> which you will know about if you've seen it. It's a horrible ending. BBC, what are you doing with your lives? And so yeah, hopefully watching less TV is going to be helped along by the fact that, you know, things like Gossip Girl and Merlin, they aren't actually showing anymore, they've stopped, which I'm quite sad about. Five, we're getting a bit boring now with resolution number five, work harder. Because like I mentioned earlier, I'm at uni, so I do actually need to work now. Thankfully the first year doesn't actually count towards my overall degree, but I need to pass it to get to second year. So, I do need to do work. Okay, number six on my resolution is to travel more, because I, don't, I love travelling, like, you can go to a completely new country, there's a culture, you know, there's brand new people, and you can do so many things that, that would just not be possible in England, just because it doesn't have that kind of history. So, like, we went to Crete a couple of years ago, and Spinalonga is this island just off Crete, and it's where they sent all the lepers there, and it's just amazing because they have all the old houses and you can go in and you can read up all about all the leprosy. Seven is to learn French because following on from number six, me and my friend Elspeth, we're planning a trip to go to Paris in the summer, which is going to be amazing. But the last time I did French was when I was 13. So I know very few phrases and they actually need to learn more. Also, I just think it'd be cool to learn a language. Number eight, appreciate the little things more. Now you're going to have to bear with me. I like. It's a really odd one, but I saw this post on Tumblr the other day. Oh yeah, I have a Tumblr. I'll link you probably. And it was basically saying that when, that like every so often I'll look down at my laptop and see the MacBook Pro uh, symbol thing and realise how lucky I am and how small my problems seem. And I have got a MacBook Pro. And it just kind of made me realise that we don't, like the fact that I actually have a laptop at all, Never mind a Mac, never mind a MacBook Pro, is incredible in itself. So it's like, you just need to appreciate, you pre like, kind of appreciate what you have. But then also linking in is just appreciating the little things in life, like the, the really small things that make you smile, like just being with your friends and crank calling up people and just doing like stupid, stupid little things. Or like, hang I don't know if that shows up on camera. I can wiggle my ears and <laughs> it's just like appreciating the really small things in life that shouldn't matter but do. Nine, believe in myself more. 
Like, I... I don't know, I have, like... I have problems with, like, self-esteem and stuff, and there was a time in my life where I thought I wasn't really good at anything. Even though I was, like, I'm kind of... I'm kind of average at most things in school. But, um, yeah, just believing in myself more, because... If you believe in yourself more, then you'll actually be able to achieve more. So, like, at uni this year, I went in for the Summer Ball Committee, and we had to do, uh, like, an interview process, which wasn't... Uh, it wasn't as scary as it sounded. But we started to do an interview process, and then we got callbacks, and then the final three people got chosen. And I was actually one of them, and I never thought that I would... I would actually get that far. I just thought... I was like, right, suck it up, you're at uni, you might as well do something. I was like, and I love planning things and events and parties, and I thought, well, Summer Ball Committee, that'd be awesome. And then I actually got it, so I'm like, yes! So it's just little things like that, like, if I believe I can do it, it's a step towards doing it, as opposed to just sat there and thinking, no, I can't. Same with the YouTube videos. For a year, I've sat there and thought, no, I can't, but now I'm saying, yes, I can, and I have, and hopefully I'll continue to. Hopefully. Ten. Caring less about what other people think. Now, that's not in a sort of way of, oh, yeah, I don't really care what you think. It's more of just, like, not not taking it to heart as much, because part of me not doing these YouTube videos before was me thinking, oh, no, what if, what if a load of people at school or a load of people at uni, what if they found out and made fun of me? But then I couldn't give a shit anymore. L look at all the fucks I give. Because if I like doing it and I get enjoyment out of it, and you're going to make fun of me for doing something I enjoy. That says more about you than it does about me. So, yeah. Enough. Um, eleven. <laughs> Eleventh resolution, carry on writing. Because when I was, oh god, 14 or 15? 15 maybe. 14. I got an idea for a book series, like this really cool new supernatural thing. And I have a really, really overactive imagination. I'm always making up stories in my head. Like I've, I've, I have like seven book series, like plot lines that I want to write. So I was like, right, well, why don't I actually do it? And I went on um, NaNoWriMo, which is the National Novel Writers Month. It's really cool, actually. It's in November, so this is probably the wrong time to tell you about it. But anyway, and in November, you basically, you have to write a novel that's 50,000 words just in November. So you have to write about 1,675 words a day to eventually amount up to the 50,000. And they actually did it this year, which is really cool. Except <laughs> I, was, I was looking for quantity rather than quality of my writing, and it's absolutely shit. There are some whole, probably like 10,000 words I'm just going to take out because they're so bad. And it's a, real, it's a problematic thing because 50,000 words, it seemed like a lot, and I thought, okay, that's going to be the whole story. No. I wrote three days, not, not as in I wrote it all in three days, as in from the start of my story to the end, it has been three days. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> I'm not even anywhere near done, this story is going to take months, I mean, there's going to be like jibbles and, and cuts and things, but it's like, that. what? So yeah, I need to continue writing that, because I just really want to get it published. Number 12, get better at drawing, because all my life I have been shit at art, <laughs> like, I cannot draw, like, Hermione can't draw, I cannot draw. <laughs> but, um, I've been going on DeviantArt and following Burge Bug, and she's so good, she's really cool. And, um, and so I started, like, I started copying some of her drawings, like, not, not actually, like, copying it like that, but, like, looking at the screen and drawing it out. And I actually got, I'm actually okay now, I don't actually hate it. I mean, some of, some of my work, I just look at it and think, oh god, the leg looks like a legume or something. But it's fine. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, basically, I just want to do... Just The more you do, the better you get. So hopefully by the end of the year, I will have at least achieved something. I will at least be slightly better at it. And 13, less, less of a re resolution, really. It's more of a quote. Um, it's from one of my favourite movies. Cookie, if you can, if you know what movie it is, without searching it on Google because that's cheating. No cookie. I figure life's a gift and I don't intend on wasting it. You don't know what hand you're going to get dealt next. You just got to learn to take life as it comes to you and making each day count. So here is me making my first YouTube video, making every day count.